What's up, family? This is Powercast with PC, and this is episode number 25. And as always, my prayer is, is that your time with me is as powerful as my time with you. My, I want you to go to www.clhines.org backslash prayer and get your prayer requests in. And while you're there, consider partnering with us. God is doing some amazing things, but we simply cannot do it without you. I'm excited about these next few episodes because we're going to be talking about God's plan, particularly and specifically uh, as it pertains to your life. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 really lays out for us that God knows the plan that he has for us. And I think that's a good place for us to start because most of the time we get frustrated when we try to make God bless something that he has absolutely nothing to do with. And I want you to really accept that principle and apply that truth to your life, that God is not obligated to bless something that he didn't tell us to do. God is not obligated to to bless something that in his eyes is illegal. God is not going to bless something that you never should have been in in the first place, whether it's a relationship, whether it is a job, whether it is a career path, whatever it is is. If it is counterproductive to God's plan and purpose for your life, he is not going to bless it because his number one objective is to first get you on the right path. Scripture suggests that the steps of a righteous man or woman are ordered by God. And so we already have the blessing of the Lord and it's already been predestined, but it's connected to our steps. So when you're stepping in places that have nothing to do with your purpose, nothing to do with who he created you to be, then you are always stepping outside of the will of God, which takes you outside of some of the benefits of his will, like grace and mercy and blessings and protection and security and all those incredible things. So the first place that we've got to start with is knowing that he knows the plan and the God that knows the plan is on the inside of me. And so because he's on the inside of me, I don't have to look from look for uh, affirmation and direction from external places, but I look for it from internal places. As I receive God's truth about me and God's truth in my life, then as it resonates with me spiritually, it begins to unfold and reveal what his plan is for our life. Now, we understand that the Bible teaches us that the principle of seed, time, and harvest is literally not just what governs the earth, not just what governs us, but also it is what explains us, suggesting that we are are a seed and we need soil. And so we got to understand that God's plan for us is not to harm us, not for us to have uh, any evil, not to be abused, not to be broken, even though these things can happen. That's not his plan. Hear this. His plan for us is to prosper us. And so God is going to prosper us two ways. He's going to, number one, prosper us by our obedience to his word and our obedience to what he tells us to do. And what he tells us to do as we walk that out, we step into our place of prosperity. But then secondly, we thank God for grace because God also has the ability to take what the enemy meant for evil and turn it around for our good. And so it's important for you to understand that he can will and is more than able to th- turn things around for our good. Now, you may be asking yourself, why or how does God talk to me? How does he give me direction? Well, he talks to us directly, but one of the most significant ways that he talks to us is he gives us leaders. The Bible says he'll give us shepherds after his own heart. Are there some bad pastors? Absolutely. Are there some negative leaders? Absolutely. Are there uh, some crooks? Absolutely. But in every case, I don't care if it's a doctor, I don't care if it's a lawyer, whatever profession it is, there's always some bad apples in the bunch. But God has a leader, a pastor, a shepherd, and when they preach and when they teach, their job is not just to inspire you, but you should be hearing instruction. And so I want you to really lean in uh, when you hear from your man of God or your woman of God. If maybe the only word that you're getting is our time together, that's all good as well. But eventually you need to get into a good 
church, Bible-believing church, and let this be a part of your walk and not the primary part of your walk. But if I am so much so the primary part of your walk, it's all good because this is a good place. It's a safe place. And most importantly, I'm going to tell you God's truth about you. And God's truth about you is his plan for you is to prosper you. But it is not an immediate result. It's going to take some time. I want you to consider it like this. God's plan is an oven and our plan is a microwave. We want it right away. We want it right now. We want it before we even put it in. But God is like, nope, I can't give it to you right now because I'm not just building your stuff. I'm building you. I'm not just building your blessings, but I'm also building your character. And so I want you to understand that everything that you've gone through in your life, everything that you've ever dealt with in your life, it's a part of his plan. Whether it is a part of the plan that he's going to use with the enemy meant for evil, or whether it's just a part of the plan where he simply is allowing you to go through certain things because it's building you into who he called you to be. Remember, you are a seed. So a seed can only be what it is. Uh, watermelons don't need uh, classes. <laughs> watermelons just need soil. Now, that doesn't mean you don't need education and you don't need to go to school and all that. But what I am trying to give you is some sense of revelation of who you are before you go trying to empower what you want to be instead of who you are. Because many times we want to be something that we are not because we want something that we see someone else has. But what I want to tell you, what God has for you, it is for you, and it's the best for you. And so I've had to learn how to pray like this, God, I want everything that you have for me, nothing more and nothing less. God, I want everything that you have for me, nothing more and nothing less. And God is like, here it is. You want to get what I have for you? Obey my word. Get in my word. Reveal, ask me to reveal myself to you, to reveal your purpose and to reveal your plan. I talk a lot about purpose because purpose is the primary objective of your life. Things will pass away. Stuff will fade. Relationships will change. But what will not change is God's original purpose and plan for your life. He knows the plans that he has for us, and those plans are to prosper you. So I want to encourage you as you walk throughout your day or evening or whenever you may be watching, I want to encourage you that everything that's happening in your life God's going to use it for your good. Don't forget, go to www.cohines.org backslash prayer and get those prayer requests in. And this is episode number 25. So that means you've got 24 episodes to catch up on. Get caught up on those episodes and let's be in sync, in line together. And last but certainly not least, please consider partnering with us. It is our Gideon's Army Partnership. In the scriptures, the Bible teaches us that Gideon had an army of over 10,000 people and God brought his army all the way down from 10,000 to 300. Gideon's frustrated saying, we will not be able to win the war. And God teaches him a valuable lesson that I believe he taught me. It's not about the quantity, it's about the quality. And so God spoke to me very clearly that the purpose and plan that I have for your ministry is only going to require 300 partners. And so I need 300 partners. I need you to consider partnering with me. Go to my website, click the partnership tab and look and see see what level of partnership you can partner with me on. Maybe you say, you know what, I'm not ready to partner, but I do want to sow a seed because I see that God is doing something amazing. You're already on episode number 25, and I know you've got a, a, a desire to build a television set and get cameras and really do it up. I mean, really, really do it up, whether you're listening or whether you're watching. And so you want to be a part of that? Here's two ways you can do it. Go to Cash App, go to dollar sign, live, love, serve, put in the notes, CL Hines Ministries, so we can make sure that your tax deductible gift goes in the right place. Secondly, you can text the way VA to 77977, find the CL Hines Ministries tab, and you can give that way there. And look, if you don't want to give that way, just message us and we'll figure out how you can mail it or whatever. But thank you so much for even considering partnering with us. And I've got to go, but always remember, live better, love God, serve people. I'm praying for you. And I'll see you next time.